Getting started with search blocks. You can install search blocks on your server or use our Amazon cloud hosted pay as you go service. Downloading and installing search blocks. Go to http searchblocks.com. And click the download button under your corresponding operating system. Once you have downloaded the SearchBlox server setup file, click on it in order to install it on your computer. Follow the steps in the setup program and the installation process is complete. Start the SearchBlox server by clicking on the SearchBlox server desktop icon. Next, click on the admin console in the programs menu or using the Amazon cloud-based SearchBlox hosted service. Go to aws.amazon.com and sign up for a free Amazon Web Services account. Sign up for the EC2 service and log in to the AWS Management Console at aws.amazon.com slash console. Once you have access to the AWS console, click on the EC2 tab and go to the AMI's link under Images. Once under Amazon Machine Images, search for Search Blocks to find all the Search Blocks AMI's. You can click on this XML file and click Launch button to start Search Blocks. To access the search page, please copy public DNS name of the Amazon instance to the browser address field, and that will redirect to the search page. Search Blocks runs on port 80. Please authorize access to port 80 on your instance. To access the Search Blocks admin console, use this URL and log in using admin as the username and password and log in using username and password. This brings up the list of collections. Creating a search collection. One, click on the Add Collection button. The Add Collection screen will now be displayed. Two, enter a unique name for your collection. Three, click on HTTP radio button. Four, choose the language of the web pages that you are about to index. Five, select the index type for the collection. This determines where the working index will be placed. Six, click Add to create the collection. After you have created the collection, follow the steps to configure your collection. Setting paths. The path settings configure the root URLs and the filters for the collection. To access the path settings for the collection, Click on the collection's name in the collection's list. Root URLs. The root URL is the starting URL for the spider. It requests this URL, indexes the content, and follows links from this URL. Please make sure the root URL you enter has regular HTML href links that the spider can follow. One. In the Paths sub-tab, enter at least one root URL for the collection in the Root URLs text box. 2. Click Save at the bottom of the page to save the values for the root URLs. Indexing Settings Here, you can perform the scheduled activities for the collection and then click on the Index button. Then the current status changes to Running. Collection Settings. The Settings sub-tab holds tunable parameters for the spider. Search Blocks comes pre-configured with parameters when you create a new collection. Changing Search Results Display through the console. The Search Results settings can be configured using the Results tab on the Admin console. They specify the number of results to display, the default sorting method to be used, whether to provide hit highlighting, and whether the search form should be displayed on every page. These settings are customizable per collection by overriding them through query parameters. 
select the default template and then click the Save button. Preview the search and see that the results are in the template you selected. The clustered search results functionality automatically groups search results into dynamic categories. This enables users to access the right information quickly and easily. Featured Result Search You can feature links in the search results page when the user enters specific search terms by using Featured Results Search. You can perform the search by clicking on the Featured Results sub-tab in the Results section. Here, select the type and enter the title, description, and the URL for the search result which should be placed in the search results page. Then enter the keywords to all which this search result should be displayed, and then its expiration date and the priority in which the search result should be displayed. Once you have filled in all the details, click on Save and Activate. When people search using any of the keywords you assigned, then the certain links can be highlighted in the search results which can lead to other website customization. Click on the Create button on the Settings sub-tab of the Results tab. This leads you to the customization part of the search blocks. To customize the look and feel of your search results page, edit the default.xsl file under Style Sheets folder. You can also change the background color of the search page by selecting the color you want from the palette. You can replace the search block's logo with your company logo. Just find where it says logo.jpg in the XSL file and replace it with your own company logo file. You should place the company logo image file in the images folder under search blocks. Similarly, we can also change the other features of the search page from here. After you have done all of the changes, click on Save button and then the Preview button to view the changes you have done. Reports Now let's see about using the report section. All details of indexing operations are available in this log. This is the log to check to see whether a document has been indexed or skipped by the spiders. It also has the time taken to index each document. All search queries are logged in this file. This file can be used to generate customized search usage reports. It contains all available information regarding a search query and how it was processed. Admin tab. Upgrading to a higher edition of search blocks. To upgrade to a higher Search Blocks Edition, purchase the required Search Blocks Edition and save the new license.xml on your system. Upgrade the license on your Search Blocks instance as follows. To upgrade the license on your Search Blocks, follow these steps. After logging into the Admin Console, click on the Admin tab. Click on the Browse button and use the File dialog to select the new license.xml file. Click on the Upload button to upgrade the license. Changing your admin password. You can change your login password here. Your password is encrypted and stored securely. Thank you for viewing this demo. For more information on SearchBlocks, please visit searchblocks.com.